That's it. Both teams are ready, folks. We are seeing a semifinal match here. Arkea versus Godar. So let's get to the action. And this NSL semifinal match is underway. We're seeing uh, the Godar starting in sub-axis, Arkea, Arkea starting in atrium. We're seeing a glass hallway reactor core push here by Godar. Big fight happening now in reactor core. So it's great shooting by, by Arkea. Godar is being pushed back and that skulk rush has been stopped by Arkea. Now we have Arkea moving into Data Core. We also have a fight over in Computer Lab. Godar trying to take out Fanon. We, we know how strong a Marine Fanon is, and he takes down Vok in Computer Lab. What great firing, as we can see here. He's trying to take down some Sis. Arkea playing a very, very strong, aggressive game at this point. Trefnix and Skugan moving in through maintenance access. And they are going to be heading to sub-access Marines on both sides. Arkea running into the main hive in sub-access. Can Godar push them away? We got Duty taking down Skuggen and Trefnix on the east side of sub-access. And that other Marine in Computer Lab, Tane and Fana, both move off. Vok coming in to skulk in and see what's going on at this point. Wow, what great aggressive play we're seeing right now from Arkea. And we're seeing a fight down in Computer Lab. A little bit of pot shots happening. We see an observatory going down. And just like we I've seen in Arkea in the past, we're probably going to see some weapon upgrades happening. Got two Godar skulks coming into Crevice, harassing that RT. They're going to be taking that down pretty quickly. I don't see any Marines on the map that are going to come and save that. Oh! Kuroyo is trying to dash there. Can he make it to save that RT? It's at 8%. No, it's going to go down. And those skulks go away. Kuroyo does take down out Mend. And Duty takes out Fana, who is coming back. And who then gets taken out, took out by Tane. What great exchange going on there. All right, and in ventilation, Skugan just found a drifter, taking away some battlefield information there. Godar coming in with Skulks, eat him alive in ventilation, and they are making a push up north to Crossroads. They just split 2-2 two -two Crossroads and Data Core coming into Glass Hallway, where Trefnix is waiting for them. One goes down, and Trefnix does go down. Vok about to engage him, but then realizes he got taken down at this point and we got Vok sneaking into reactor core Skuggen I think knows he's there but maybe he doesn't he gets reinforced by Trefnix that RT is down to 54 percent we see phase tech has started and in Archaea fashion armor one is already almost done three minutes into this game and we see two Archaea Marines coming in Trefnix and Skuggen into data core at this point we see that paranoid power node dropped and they are just going to pass that two marines in computer lab at this point duty kind of checking out what's going on we have an rt in trouble in ventilation 40 percent and the godar trying to stop that push does not go anywhere armor one is done phase gates is almost done this is not looking good for godar we see a rt just go down in crevice and we see another push by Arkea. What an aggressive, aggressive game. Tane and Fana, those two together are deadly. You guys know sub-access being hammered from the west side. Godar trying to scramble and figure out Trefnix and Skuggen coming in from sub-access. I don't know if Godar is going to be able to hold this off. Two are dead, four are alive. We only got there's zero eggs left. Arkea coming in for the kill. Godar trying to make any type of push at this point. 
How exciting, folks! Arkea just hammering it down. We see that ammo and health pack being dropped. 92% on the hive. Godar just not knowing what to do at this point. Zero eggs on the map. Godar is egg locked. This could be the good game. Greasy comes in trying to attack Skugan. Takes him down but gets taken down too. Wow. There's the good game from Godar. Five minutes, 15 seconds into this match. Godar loses. Arkea wins round one of the semifinals. Wow. Remember guys, this is best of seven matches. So we still got a long way to go. Things can change, but that was a great match. So what we're going to do now is get ready for round two, guys. I hope you enjoyed that quick uh, little five minutes there. Um, and we'll be right back. I'm going to go on mute until we are ready. So stay tuned here on Red Dog TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, folks, to round two of Arkea versus Godar. We are seeing a pre-match right now on your screen. Everyone is just screwing around at this point, ready for the ready calls. What a match from uh, the last match, Arkea being the Marines. Such an aggressive play. They knew what they needed to do uh, in the beginning. And we have that ready call 10 seconds before we start this match. And this round two is underway. NSL semi-final match against Godar and Arkea. We see Godar starting in data core. And we see Arkea starting in flight control. Arkea doing what Arkea does best. Sticks together as a group. Rushes really fast at the enemy. And we see Godar moving down into ventilation. Arkea doing a very good job being quiet at this point, moving in, and they're going to take on those Godar Marines in Reactor Core, four on two right now, and they just take them out with no problem, like a steamroller, and that RT is going to go down, three skulks biting its face off. We're seeing an expansion by Godar into sub-access, and the RT in ventilation is down. Duty coming in against Tane, trying to get that off. Fana coming behind him. Duty's definitely in trouble. And he goes down, and that RT is definitely going to go down. This is the play that we see from Arkea all the time. They deny expansions really early in the game and just make it tough uh, for the resource game to happen for the enemy. And that RT does go down. Tane and Fana circling around Grissy. Grissy backing off wisely, getting backed up by Duty, and they are going to come in. Hopefully, guns blazing. Tane just hiding underneath in ventilation, trying to see what's going on. You see flashlights going on, trying to figure out where these aliens are. We're seeing Arkea running around in crossroads right now. Uh, those two Marines, Grissy and Duty, moving into sub-access right now. Power is going up, and we see the blueprints of an RT being dropped right now as well. 
big fight here in Glass Hallway where M Mend asked, Mendes just gets killed from Godar. And in Reactor Core, again, that RT is in trouble. We have one person from Godar, one lone Marine, coming in to try to save that RT from Karuyu. Gets off a couple shots, but Karuyu seems to be doing really well in evading those shots. Joined now by, joined now by Trefnix. And uh, Alcalde is definitely going to be careful right here. Uh, we have two Marines on the southwestern part of the map hitting Computer Lab. We have a Gorge and two Skulks coming in. Scram. Oh, and three Skulks coming in. Tane, Fana, and Skugan um, against Grissy and Duty. Vok as well is in the vents. Looks like this is going to be a really good matchup coming up. And we're seeing a little bit of pot shots coming in. Skugan comes in for the kill against Duty. And they take out Grissy as well. Vok is alone in sub-access. Poor guy is just going to be running around. He's got Fana and Tane. Those guys are dangerous aliens or marines. And we see Fana take him down. And that extractor is going down. So what we see up here in Krevis, Alcalde and Menzap just here trying to take down this RT, we got a little bit of a Hydra farm that just took out Menza, Al Alcalde and Kuruyu, kind of here in crevice. I don't think Alcalde knows Kuruyu is there, and Kuruyu does make Why his move, and he does get streaming channel. He does server. get found, and that fight is going to be gone. And welcome, blind, to the cast. Welcome, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Yeah, I am wondering to... where you were at. <laughs> Uh, trying to settle the other semi-final, so, you know, Edmund has to get us done. Gotcha. <laughs> well, welcome to the match. We are seeing Godar as Marines, Arkea as aliens. Um, I'm looking at sub-access right now where Godar is just rebuilding that RT. Trefnik's coming in to kind of see what's going on and throwing parasites on Vok to get some battlefield information. We also see an engagement in age on 2v2. Cold on Fauna gets taken out by Grissy. Okay, the nice work there. And yo, a little bit overconfident on this kind of engagement going 2v2 into well positioned Marines. So, go there. Wally has a good lead, I think, just from judging what I'm seeing after 10 seconds. <laughs> well, you missed in the beginning. Arkea has been harassing Godar all over the map. Every time they expand somewhere, they lose it a short time later. So, getting a foothold on this map now, it seems that they are just now getting that foothold. We're seeing a fight up in Crevice. Grissy and Alcalde versus Skugan and Scram. Oh yeah, so five RTs already destroyed for the Marines, but good double pressure. Complep and Crevice at the same time, and Arkea is mainly focusing on computer. Like both the Marines are taken out, comp is secure, but let's see what will happen on Crevice now. Exactly, we see a Lurk on the field, and that is going to be everyone's favorite, Fana. And those Marines are being pushed back from Crevice to Atrium. Alcalde is in trouble. He goes down. Grissy is saying no thanks. He's backing up and just gets eaten in the face by Skugan. Wow, what a push. Wow, really amazing. So both RTs have been safe for Arkea. Really good work by them. And yeah, that doesn't make the life easy to go to. So I think I have to retract my statement there. <laughs> Yeah, and we are seeing now a fight in sub-access. Trefnix was trying to take down that RT. It's at 35%. We see welders now being researched. Weapons 1 has just gone up, or is coming up pretty soon. And those two Marines in sub-access are heading to Computer Lab to make a little bit of a concerted push. We also have two Marines in Atrium coming down to Crevice. So we have a two-way push here. This is very interesting for Godar, and they should be doing this to kind of keep Arkea guessing as to where they're going to be pushing. We see Fanano working on sub axis together with Koryu, getting the pulling the Marines back. They cannot proceed further to Cobbler as they might wish to. And still solid five RTs for Goda. They have weapon one, armor one, off speed goal, so might be a base tech coming next. We're seeing that oh a hive has been dropped right when those Marines got kicked out of there. A hive has been dropped in sub access. That is gonna get grown. 
the attack in crevice is going well. They Grissy and Al Alcalde just took out that harvester, and they're going to keep pushing um, through there. Nope, actually they decided to move back to Atrium. We see an RT by Skugan getting taken down. 40% in reactor core. We see a push coming into ventilation from Vok against Trefnix. Action all over the map here, Blind. I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, well, looking by the action is actually that Jai Wall did research shotgun, which I think is pretty clear about the high drop sub axis and preparing a time push on the side, judging from how the magic went so far, losing all the RTs. I think he has to take down the side sub and commit with like four Marines into a major push towards it. But we'll have to see what he will actually do now. Yeah, exactly. And these Marines now, we see some scans being dropped in reactor core. Uh, RT going back up, and that RT in Crossroads goes down by Skugan, and a nice drifter placement there in Crossroads to get that battlefield information. Two Marines of Godar in pipe junction right now. Skugan kind of harassing them. They're going to push into ventilation. That scan is not going to reach Skugan, so they're not going to know that he's there. Have we already seen 10 RTs have been destroyed on a rest grab before the 8 minute mark? This is just a huge number of great team play back here. So fine. It looks like Yoda's not pushing to his eyes, but look at ventilation. Wow! Five coming in there. Nice shotgun work. The look almost goes down far now. And so still Vork with his shotgun versus those two Skulks and with his outstanding aim. Yeah, what a good push there, uh, and, and actually a defense by the by the Godar. I honestly thought those were going to go down, and we see a big fight happening in flight control. We got three of Godar's Marines coming in flight control. Arkea scrambling to get back to push those out of there. All the Kelpas shows going down to try to snipe it now. 10% dropping, but just in time defending it. Oh! 9%! 9%! That was it! <laughs> he could have ran up to it and just threw his axe at it. <laughs> wow, uh, good looked, defense. Yeah, definitely. It looks like for a second that Goda didn't know what they should focus on. Method shoot the Skulks in the Lurk, or rather shoot the Carapace Shell at that point. Uh, I have no clue, but at one point they decided to go for the Carapace Shell, but unfortunately they didn't take it down. Yeah, and we're seeing uh, Godar push, three Marine push here in ventilation towards sub-access. They just took out a Drifter, and they are moving in, being being aggressive at this point in the game. Yeah, four man push here close to sub, but they're splitting up. Two will go to crossroads right now. So not committing into sub, trying to go for double prone attack, probably through crossroads to crevice or maybe summer reception flight control yet again. But look at that, five aliens again event. They definitely don't want to lose this high. Yeah, definitely not, and uh, these aliens are coming in, they're going to take down that RT, uh, they're harassing Vok all the way back to Data Core. Fana doing a great job with those spikes, that RT is definitely going to go down, and oh, it does. Well, Goda wants to put up a face get in crossroads. They already put up the armor right there so they can help out, but look at the drifter. Alien Akira knows exactly what's coming out. Oh, see yeah. The armory drop, the seated marines, they know exactly what Jaimo has in mind to do up next. And if they can rush crossroads, take it down before the face get will pop, then I think this is going to be a really, really bad situation here for Goda. Yeah, and, and we see phase tech has been completed. Um, we might see that phase gate go down soon. But you're right, Arkea, they have an uncanny way to just read the strategy uh, and also just tell everybody where to hit. Um, so we may see a concerted push soon into Crossroads. We see Blink has just started for Arkea, um, which is definitely going to start seeing fades on the field. Trefnix uh, and Tane are the close, oh, and Skugan uh, are close to fades at this point. So probably three fates popping up, hopefully a little bit more effective than in some games we've seen in the tiebreakers. Um, they really learned their limits, I guess, as fates. So maybe play a little bit more carefully with them since go there all these really nice shots. And now the face gate is up in crossroads to see the Marines pushing towards crevice or the hive. No, going straight to flight control. Yep, and we're seeing a push in flight control. That was a good key spot for that phase gate. I think they're going to go out and try to go after those upgrades again. They're deciding right now what to do. They decided to go after the extractor. They have weapons one shotguns right now, and they're sitting on armor one as well. 
Oh, wow. Fade just comes in. Skugan just takes off Grissy's head. Wow, what a great, great, great push. I didn't even see that. I see him come in and he just dies. Uh, so Goda just lost two shotguns there. They don't have really the rest flow to keep supporting that, sacrificing on the shotguns. I have to think and maybe about the strategy is getting a little bit more hold on the north side of the map. Let's look at that atrium reactor for the not even marine extractors. That's how hard Goda is struggling on map control currently. Definitely, and a, and a good defense in Crossroads right now, kind of getting that fade pushed away, but I think you're right, Blind. I mean, Atrium is free for the taking, and they should at least push into there to have a little bit more map control. Well, probably Al-Qaeda from Reactor will move Atrium next, but we see Panas already scouting it, clearly going for recappers, but he's flying a pack away. Didn't see one, not going to Reactive Core, and we'll have that fate inside Summit Reception versus Grissy and Bandas. More shotguns to kill. Yeah, and uh, they're playing a little cat and mouse right now. Skug and Grissy and Menzav, and Skugan makes his move. Blinks in, takes Grissy down to half health. Fana joins him in this attack. And oh, joined by fade. another fade, Tane. Wow, what great shotgun shots by Grissy. And Menzap, wow, nothing oh, dies wait, in man. that exchange, but that was a good exchange. Yeah, We're seeing a time the, the ball time to get into that pack, so we're due to wrap two here. Yeah, and we're seeing a push, uh, a marine push, a failed marine push into sub access at this point. Fade coming into crossroads, trying to take down that phase gate. I had Katyn off bracing in, just landing in the swipes with Trafnix, but good shots and map packs keeping those Marines always alive here. Oh, Chris, he could no, almost trap that fate, just surviving. Wow. Home to fly How much health is that? Like 12% health on that? Wow, we see Crevice, our Alien RT go down. Menzap and Grissy coming into Atrium. We saw a Marine Reactor Core RT go down, and another. Um, Basically, another push and more pressure on Crossroads. Three alien push in Crossroads. Four alien push in Crossroads. That is not good for Godar at this point. Al Al Alcalde phases through, gets stabbed through the heart. Duty does the same thing. Valk walking in from the north side. He is not going to last Ooh, long. Ooh, there's going to be close. The biggest 10% oh. dropping. Two more coming in. Oh, Fana takes some good chance. Sean. Wow! 8%! On the phase gate, Godar defends it. That is just crazy. That's pretty close, but it's telling how overwhelming like the, right now the life bomb situation here for um, Akira is. They're only, only fighting weapon one, armor one the whole time just because of that exceptional good rest biting. Just trying to get weapon two up, but look at the map and how good the map control is. We have about five harvesters soon here for those aliens. They're trying to claim Atrium now for themselves. And this leaves Goda really in a dire situation. Command yeah, under if we're looking at, uh, and we see a fade harassing the main base of uh, Data Core there, just kind of going in and out. He's he's uh, reinforced by a skulk. And they're going after the observatory in Data Core. Oh, he can't beacon. He didn't have enough rest to He beacon. didn't have rest to beacon. Commander jumps out. Oh, wow! Here is swarming every place right now in base in reactor for the poor cameras in crossroads. Goda has to defend like everything and looks like they cannot even get more than two extractors right now. Yeah, and, and, and like you said, I got the map up right now. Map control wise, units and buildings. Um, Archaea is just dominating in map control at this point. Godar making a concerted push from crossroads into summit reception and into crevice but that is spotted by the drifter that is placed right there so the oh, aliens catch do him. know about this yeah they catch him out of where is the marines are out of position they have to run back to crossroads but it probably will be too late i'm not sure not a running straight flight no turning around again and crossroads oh. does fall crossroads is down those three marines are just too late godar too late to come back and save crossroads we see cysteine all over the place Oh, tons of medpack being dropped here by Jaivo, but it's not enough! It's not gonna be enough! Oh! 
Oh, well, and there's the good game from Godar. 16 minutes in, Wild Blind. What a match, and how aggressive was Arkea during this? Oh, yeah, dude. Arkea are just showing you what steel they're made of. And I really hope to see, like, of those kind of games I've seen go there with Akia again. So Akia, you know, getting really up to sweating, go there completely having them, and all the information. If you only watch the officials and you're used to see Akia win, just an information for you on lots of practice matches. I've seen, I've heard, go there actually took Akia completely out. Like, winning several matches. So let's hope to see this as well, because this game... Akia really showed a good lead from mid-game to the end. There was, I think, nothing really good that could pull off at this point after the good respiting. But there's definitely... I think maybe it's a warming up issue. Yeah, definitely. Well, guys, um, so at this point, I'm just going to go on mute. We're just going to switch, uh, switch sides. Uh, again, this is best out of seven. Um, and we are going to, uh, we'll be right back, and I did see that in the chat, I did turn blind up, so you can hear him better. <laughs> oh, I don't have to scream now. No, you don't have to scream, <laughs> I turned you up, so you should be able to come in fine. Let me know guys through chat if there's any audio issues and stuff like that, but we'll be right back.
Hello, Hello, folks, and welcome back to Red Dog TV. This is Sting Red Dog here, joined with Blind. How you doing, man? Hey! I'm here <laughs> sitting and watching two of the best teams in Europe. I mean, just in Europe. I mean, we have also American team on the other semi-finals happening right now. Darn and right play, we course, do. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, of course. How do I feel? Great to watch this. Great. Amazing. Yeah, and w what we've seen now, guys, if you're just joining us, um, Arkea um, played uh, Godar two rounds, and they have won. So they are 2-0 against Godar. Again, these these semifinal matches are best of seven. And and Blind, why don't you tell everyone that maybe doesn't know, where do these who does where does this winner go if they win? Why don't you tell them this, that? This winner goes pretty close to my home, like a two and a half hour trip, to Cologne in Germany, to a live stage in an ESL Studios, Electronic Sports League. It's a live TV setup studio, so this is gonna be just amazing. All the teams will be there, castles will be there, and yeah, people will be there as well to cheer up for everyone, and this is gonna be an amazing event. We had this already on a to launch tournament, which was really great, but this time, this time we have a prize pool involved. And the price pool is seven thousand three hundred dollars. So this is definitely bigger than the last time. Yeah, definitely. And um, I believe uh, the teams get, uh, you know, get there to Germany on uh, someone else's dime, right? Is that right? Oh, sorry again. <laughs> I was saying that the teams get to Germany. The, the two teams that are going to go are actually the, that Germany trip is going to be paid for, right? Yes, Arnold World is covering all the costs, so great props to them, of course, for sponsoring this whole event. They're paying the East L Studios, the teams, the bookings, the hotels, the flights, and everything. But yeah, we are starting right now, so let's go ahead and just look. Fantastic, so this is round three, guys. Arkea versus Godar. And with Akira spawning in and off in their house, and the Ellens go right down and shipping here on the map, and as L7 tr uh, tram, not some. <laughs> <laughs> and we're seeing a split by Arkea um, at this point, uh, ore processing platform and hub. We're seeing Godar come up and meet them in those areas. Uh, trying to see what Godot will do. It looks like they're grouping up for pushing towards Hub, taking out those two Marines, one elevator, two from repair. Uh, also looks a little bit confusing. They're not engaging yet so far. They're just running around in circles on the map. Yeah, well, you know what? With Fana and Tane in there, I'd be cautious too. <laughs> <laughs> but here they go, now they're engaging. Oh! Uh, wow! <laughs> Fana and Tane just take out half of Godar's team as they tried to push them uh, in hub and now they are moving straight to logistics where a Gorge is there, a Calde with a Hydra farm, he gets taken out quite quickly. And again, three Skulks, but this time another Gorge, you really have to watch out, Seven, three Skulks against Hanan, Fane is really dangerous, but this time, Banner is out and Tane gets killed as well, nice job Godar cleaning this up. Good push by Godar to defend that. I think they wanted a little bit of revenge of what happened in Hub, uh, and now they are moving in um, from into repair room. Uh, and Skugan is going to meet them in there, but he is just a sole marine, and he's going to get reinforced by Tane and Trefnix coming in through ore processing. Also quite interesting to note, you Godar going for one RT only opening. And they're not so lucky because they chose logistics. And generally, if you have a warehouse hive, you want to spread over to observation elevator transfer. And what you can do is, like, you start open, you open with two RT straight ahead, logistic and observation, and then a carapace shell. But, well, it went out, just one RT, carapace is on the way, almost finished now. And Arkea about to work on this only harvester outside now. And we see Arkea moving into logistics, uh, and for their upgrades, two, tw two minutes in, they're already getting armor one up, and Godar is kind of scrambling to save logistics and push those guys back into repair room. What a fight going on! And Ar Arkea just taking down the Godar one by one. Oh yeah, as you're saying it, one by one, not the best 
engage with the Juice Lord. Right now, Juice guys go in and clean wow. up three Marines. They clean it up. Wow. We're seeing an ore processing RT 78% at this point. We got Duty just trying to take that down. Uh, he's going to be supported by Men Mendap. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying this guy's name wrong. Mendasp. <laughs> and that RT gets saved by Trefnix. Uh, looking on the mini map going, so we have another rest biting on top. Manda's piece right from the start. He was in platform server as well. Tain trying to prevent it. While some marines are in elevator, and they will push observation next. Yeah, and they have just gotten that power up in elevator. They're not going to bother with those blueprints for the RT. Mezzanine RT almost down, 25%. Grissy is trying to take it down. Fana in there, gonna push him off. He gets reinforced, but no oh, there's just Skulks trying to take down Fana all over the place. And they do take the Marines out. That RT is going to go down. Oh, at the same time, two Marines in logistics took down the Harvester because all the aliens were kind of distracted in the northeast side of the map. But I think generally it's okay. Um, they can focus right now only on the east side. Observation elevator because that will be the second hive location. We see two Skulks coming from Observation into Elevator Transfer. Um, this is not good to have Trefnix and Skugan in Logistics, just having their free time in there. Observatory has been completed. We see Weapons 1 almost done being completed as well. That's going to help Arkea out. And we got some fighting up in Mezzanine area, Platform area. Akira is doing a great job on defending those RTs. They only lost two so far. And considering platform and server room and you constantly have a respite there, like duty right now, it's not so easy to keep those RTs alive. Oh, and that RT saved by Eagle Eye. He takes out Grissy at 3% in ore processing. We got two Skulks in hub trying to take out Eagle Eye as well. If they do, that RT is definitely going to go down in ore processing. But Eagle Eye doing some great shooting, but not enough. And Alcalde takes him out. Skugan moving into ore processing against Alcalde. And he knows that that is almost down. And he takes that extractor out of the way. Oh, and Skugan almost killed him by just jumping and shooting the vent. Alcalde just around the corner. But also look at how many mats the Scrimes spent there. That's... Oh, the trapping this poor skulk. Look at that eagle yep. eye using the web. <laughs> wow, and, and we're seeing a, a Marine RT going down by duty in a uh, oh, platform. Fana coming. <laughs> that is not a good name to see on your screen. Uh, coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, the Marines tried to take down Observation, but Valkyrie or Valk did save it almost single-handedly together with the work of Mendes. Now they can work on Elevator, but two more Marines are coming in here. 2v2 engagement, plus a Drifter. Looks like Jai will want to use some micromanagement here. Yeah, use the Drifter! <laughs> Have the... <laughs> sick the Drifter on the Marines! <laughs> oh, wow, and Mendap goes down. Eagle Eye and Skugan in there, killing the Sis. Um, and 72% on that RT. Tane joins them as well. They are going to three marine push into observation. We also see on the other side of the map, uh, Trefnix giving some pressure to logistics, but he is going to get taken out by an alien push, and they are going to themselves push into the repair room while they got three marines going into observation. Oh yeah, they, I think Yoda really needs to focus about the east side of the map. You can first take down elevator, server, and platform, and also secure two more harvester spots. Maybe just leave ore and repair a little bit alone, or logistics, but look at Ops now! Wow. Big engagement here with the Lurk together, and all three Marines nice. have taken out. Nice, Archaea gets taken out in Observation, they also, uh, are, they also get their RT taken out in Repair Room, and another one gets dropped. Uh, that group that just went in Observatory, or Observation, is going into Elevator Transfer to take down that RT as well. Godar playing a strong game uh, at this point. They only have to watch out all the resources Arkea gathered so far. Constant 5 RT, sometimes even up to 6. They're getting weapons too now. Face tag is on the way as well as shotguns. And this might be a big timing push here. With the face gate inside hub or mezzanine, we'll have to see what Scrime will do. Yeah, and we see a elevator transfer hive is down. 10% grown. 
Weapons 2 has just been completed. Shotguns is almost done as well, and as phase tech as well. Three Marine push coming into elevator on that new hive. 15% on that new hive. This is not good for Godar. Oh, they're committed to push in here. They have to go, even though they're not enough. Gris even taking the risk. But he has to fly back, only one crack behind it, they needed more, possibly two cracks at least, to keep that high field. Four Marines inside, and the hype is Oh, and down. Alert that goes person. down! What a great Look. push by Ark, how the tables have turned! And the hype is down! Elevator transfer hive is down. Wow, big blow here towards Gordon. I really thought Akira might go for a little bit slower push, put up a face get first, but it just walked in with three Marines and killed everything in there. They completely caught Gordon, well, with the pants down. Yeah, exactly, and those three Marines that took out that hive heading into observation right now. We're seeing a push into warehouse as well by two Skulks trying to take down that observation. We see a beacon happening. Uh, that is commands in time, so the base is secure, but on the other hand, no face gate outside, which means the Marines are all set back to the base. So this was a good move, definitely costing 10 TRS plus Marine positioning on the map right now. Yeah, and you know what? That was a great move by Godar, forcing that beacon, because those three Marines in observation just a few seconds before were pressuring that shipping hive of theirs. It looks like they might lose server room and platform. Austin is trying to serve server room right now, but there's a second scout coming from behind Duty and Alkady. Oh, but Duty goes alone, not together with his buddy, so they kind of fail this engagement. Why do we have more Marines now inside logistics? Yeah, those Eagle Eye, Trefnix, and Tain inside logistics against a Hydra farm and a Skulk. Those Hydras not lasting very long against these three, and that RT is going to be in trouble. 52%, and we see Duty and Menzap outside figuring out what to do at this point. That RT goes down, and that push is going to continue. Uh, I will definitely not just run into this room. This is really dangerous. <laughs> it's a dangerous room. <laughs> <laughs> this three Marines, Arkea Marines with shotguns, and... A commander like Scribe with his Imba map packs, you don't want to do that. Yeah, Eagle, Eagle Eye running back uh, against Vok, who is chomping on that repair room RT, uh, but they go away. And Fana just finds a drifter being placed in hub. Luckily, it was moving right by him when he was running through the tunnels. And the Marines pulled back, Archaea pulled back from that push. Yep, they didn't want to overcommit the shipping, that's exactly where it can die easily. I mean, inside shipping a good place, Hydras, there's so many props to jump around, you have the high feeling. So, that's why there's no need to engage in logistics most of the time, just ignore the harvester, focus on the east side, and we see elevator has been dropped, observation dropped, but in elevator, one marine snack sneaked into it, and, well, it didn't notice that. Yeah, and we got 51% on that RT. We got uh, Duty coming in to try to save it. We're going to see a nice 1v1 here. Oh, actually, no. Alcalde comes in as well to reinforce. They have to hurry. Yeah, 1v1 is pretty dangerous against a shotgunner like Trefnix, but 2v1 is definitely manageable. Nice job, but Fana also coming around the corner, putting some nice pellets into Duty, so he has to run to the crack, get some healing. But the crack is not finished yet. We're seeing that RT in repair room going down by Grissy, 50%. We see Eagle Eye coming in, trying to shoot him. Wow! And from across the room, with a pan gun, with the pistol, just takes him out. And also, since the crack is already there, Wood is already telling that they wanted to put up the hype right now. Taking out Skurking and Fana, really important, and if with all the Marines down and no face get closed, they can put this hive again, but this time I would place two cracks for that. Yeah, definitely, and they need to hold this. I think uh, Arkea, it definite, they're smart enough to know that this is where the hive is going to go. If they can take it out again in early stages of growth, um, that will be a huge blow to Godar. Oh, look at Hub, that was, that's a really important engagement, the face gate is almost up, four Skulks in here, but three more Marines, four more Marines with shotguns and everything else pushing in. Wow. There's no chance for Goda to hold this room right now. They push that out, 
four Marines in hub right now, take getting that phase gate up. That is going to give mobility to the Marines around this map in a in a huge way. And yeah, from there they can easily push towards elevator. The hive has not been dropped yet. With that phase gate, it's almost impossible to drop this hive now. They have to kind of force the Marines away from the phase gate, take the phase gate down, maybe force a beacon then again, and that will be a timing where it can. Drop elevator. Yeah, and we're seeing uh, in elevator transfer Fana in there. He's gonna take down that RT uh, in hub. That phase gate is in trouble. 70% by Vok and Grissy. Can they take this down, folks? Trefnik's coming in. And oh, RK like saves it. Wow. The same time I was looking at Skuggan, it looked like he was stuck in some hallway there, close to our processing, <laughs> trying to find him. <laughs> but just as he unstuck, one Skull came and killed him. Unlucky bad time. timing, bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a newly dropped Harvester just gets killed by uh, an elevator transfer, an alien Harvester. Um, and we're seeing a fade now, two, three fades on the field by Godar. This is really good for them, this could help them out. Um, we're seeing weapons 2 is up, armor 2 is <coughs> being uh, researched right now. Uh, they need to make a big push into hub to try to take down that phase gate blind. Yeah, for sure. And now with the three fades, it is possible to drop the hive and look at that. Exactly what they're doing. They've waited for the fades to pop out so they can, so they have actually a good chance to defend this hive versus all those shotgunners with those upgrades. And you see, Arkea is just going in instantly. They hurt the sound of this hive, going for it, pushing away the fades oh and tech. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then those three crags, they know they're there. They're trying to push those away. Oh no, they're focusing on the hive. It's down to. Six, one, oh! Godar loses another hive in elevator transfer. Wow. Really nice push by Arkea. Perfect time and just going in when the hive health is as lowest. And pushing just those two fades away, which were around the corner. The whole Godar team was not there able to defend at this point when the Arkea Marines moved in. So again a great move here by Arkea. Wow, Arkea just knowing the map and knowing where to hit and, and just to bring their buddies into the same room and uh, Godar just kind of staying on their toes. They just cannot seem to lock down a safe area for a second hive and Arkea is not going to let them. <laughs> So it just looks more and more in favor here for Arkea. The more the time is running, no second hive up for them. They're trying to put up hiders this time to help defend this. Really needed to do this earlier. Yeah, and because they need... need that second hive. They need the tech to kind of fight against the high tech coming up for Arkea. Now we've seen advanced armories almost finishing. Exactly, and we got two skulks, Alcalde and. Uh... Sorry, Javol coming into Warehouse, just doing a little bit of harassment here, but again, Arkea just swarms. Takes out Alcalde, and Javol is getting out of there. Um, elevator transfer looks clear right now, and they do have enough for another hive, but <laughs> I don't know, third time's the charm blind? <laughs> I'm not sure, but... This time, three Marines there, but they can instantly get more. Oh, we see a second CC getting up in repair. So, it could be a Proto coming up next. Yep, and we see the Marines securing repair right now. Um, we see a Fade attacking that Phase Gate. He's not going to do much there. Uh, two Fades in Elevator Transfer, blinking back and forth, looking like they're like, wow, I don't know where to go. And they're kind of just trying to go back and... Uh, just try to harass these people in the hub. Yeah, we see two more Marines going into logistics. Maybe this is a good timing to all rush hub. They have two less Marines able to defend this position. Just sacrifice logistics for that, but it's not looking like Oder is doing that. No, and Arkea is pulling back a bit here. Uh, we have an RT that just got taken out by Alcalde in ore processing. But doesn't matter, they're still sitting pretty on five resource towers, and that is just a great resource flow. 
Yeah. And so far, Godar is doing a good job. They have all the Skulks on rest mode duty. You see in platform two Skulks while the Fates keep defending elevator, pushing the Marines into hub. But with that nano shields and map packs, it's really hard to break up here. Oh boy, and you were right. Blind prototype lab down and jet packs coming. That is not a. That's not good for Godar. Um, they are going to need to gain more map control and access to higher level life forms at this point. Or maybe even the saving for PRS on our side that's way too far away. Al Qaeda is the only one with the highest amount, is 37 rounds. It will take ages to get an honor from there. So they kind of have to battle yeah. it out just with Thades and Blink. And against jetpacks, shotgun marines, especially in the hands of Archaea. <laughs> with armor <laughs> free a, yeah, and nano spam. <laughs> that, is, that is an uphill battle. <laughs> And we see Leap has just started researching, so has Blink. And yeah, it looks like Goder is really just sitting around elevator defending, but not really pushing anywhere. The Skylaks are trying to do their best to get behind the Marines, chewing some RTs, but as we see, an almost average of 5 or 6 Marine Extractors means they're not doing the best job currently, or Arkeer is doing a better job in defending. Yeah, and two fades now in logistics against Fana and Trepnix. They take out that RT. Those two fades were a little bit too late uh, to get in there. And we're not seeing many pushes at this point. Oh, Robotics Factory just got dropped in hub. So we're going to see some arc pain coming to elevator transfer pretty soon. Oh, which means Goda really needs to start by bomb as soon as they can. Right now they're on 90 rest. They cannot afford it, but pretty soon. And w also with Bible, some some Bible gorges can help a lot into those battles. Yeah, so definitely. maybe even for some sneaky base rush, Bible rush, they definitely need to do anything really well coordinated, catching Akia out of position. I think that's the only chance for them to defend against this upcoming push. Yep, and we see an arc factory has been started, so that robo factory is now being converted. Um, that is, we're going to see arcs on the field pretty soon. Scans being dropped down in elevator transfer. Eagle Eye, Tane, and Trefnix with jetpacks coming into elevator transfer from hub. Nope, they were just going to get rid of the infestation. They're just basically defending hub until those arcs are ready. The upgrade is almost done, as is Armor 3 just now. And god, it's so frustrating to try to kill jetpackers with Armor 3. Not an easy battle. We see the fates again in logistics. I would really love to see kind of using or abusing the situation when two of the marines or maybe three of the marines are out of position. Look, one is constantly in platform. If those two are on logistics, it means only two marines can defend hub and they need to take it down. If they all would group up for big push on hub while all the marines are out on the field, out of position, I think that would be a great chance to do it. Because look at that, they lost the harvesters and logistics every time, no matter if they try to defend it or not. And we're seeing that uh, Prototype Lab has been destroyed in Warehouse. So they lost jetpacks um, at this point, so they're going to have to rebuild that Proto Lab. That's a big uh, resource cost at that point. Oh yeah, that's 40 PRS actually. They do have 49, so they can afford to redrop it. And arcs are pumping out of hub right now. The action on the map is between hub and elevator transfer. All of Archaea is in hub. Almost all of them. And they are trying to... Uh, oh, and those arcs are moving. We're going to see some arc action coming into that hive. No, we don't even have five bomb. Oh, goodness. This is going to be really dirty. Go there, missed their painful. chances, but it could take down go um, the hub. Yeah, and now Archaea is completely focusing here. Like four Marines in there with shotguns, ammo 3 shotguns, nano shield available, and those arcs hitting the hive. Let's see what Goda can try to do here. 82% on the hive. They are swarming Archaea right now, but with those jetpacks, it is really hard to hit them. They keep having to fall back to heal. You know, even see the whole marine team in there while one skull is actually working the arms up. The arms are down to 35%, so the commander had to look out and defend it off. Yep, moving up to, into warehouse. Fana coming in here trying to take out Grissy. 
The arms lab was almost down to 30%. He does take out Grissy. Moving back to the action in elevator transfer. 67%. Oh. The Marines are pushing more and more in as they're killing aliens. Yeah, the first fate already down. Manas was down. Hive is going down. They sent a third arc in there. And oh boy, this doesn't look good here for Goda. Not at all. 35%. They are sitting on armor three, weapons two, shotguns, and jetpacks. Not a good combo for Godar to go up against right now. They still have their two fades on the field. Oh, it's really curious. You saw that Chrissy as much running into those Marines, trying to help at the push, not healing the hive. I, I almost think that you tried to buy a bomb and then wondering where's my buy bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure exactly. Like Where'd it go? Well, it's researching right now, and it looks like that is gonna down. Look at that. Fade yeah. is, two fades have died. Oh, wow. Shift I've uh -oh. locked. Blink. Leap. Arkea wins. That's it. Wow. Arkea wins it. round three. 3-0 three, against Godar. They only need one more win, right, to, to win this. This is right. And I'm still in my hats, in my thoughts about this bio bomb. You saw they just started bio bomb and the gorge was going out. I think that was some serious mistake. Maybe someone tried, or maybe the calm Javel think or thought he did update it. He did upgrade it, but he didn't. Yeah, and this can happen. You know, if you click on it, or if you think you hit the hotkey, but you didn't, and you don't check, double check. That's <laughs> really painful. Wow. Well, guys, you just saw our K. I mean, Godar put up a very good fight uh, in that match, uh, but it, it seemed in the beginning blind. It seemed that <laughs> it seemed that it was gonna go. Uh, it, it, that it, Godar was having a good foothold um, on the map, but Arkea just kind of held up that stop sign and said, "No, this ain't happening." Yeah, I think they could have done way more if they strategically um, went for different choices there, like not focus so much on logistics, focus earlier on on the elevator side, on platform and server room, and one Skulk is enough to arrest the Marines between ores or and repair later on, that's I think enough, but generally you saw a lot of times the whole Marine alien team fall back, try to defend logistics, and they lost it anyway. They lost it, what, six times or so in this game? I don't know. Yeah. I stopped counting at one point. Just imagine they would have spent their time otherwise, like rushing up, like killing RTs or whatnot. Um, yeah, so much stuff. And also the timings on the hive drop was almost unlucky, but really perfect execution here by Scrime, the Akio commander. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what a... Uh... Oops, sorry, I'm just getting uh, some messages here, as you guys can hear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's not the ICQ, uh-oh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what, what year is it? <laughs> no, I don't know if ICQ will I remember. I still it. remember my ICQ number, actually. Oh, but... you know, I cannot believe I do. Oh, I, boy, I'll guys. never forget. That's the most annoying notification <laughs> sound I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, that was a, a great match. We're seeing a ready call here for uh, going into round uh, four here. Arkea, uh, if you're just joining us, 3-0 right now in favor of Arkea versus Godar. Arkea, if Arkea wins this match, they are going to Germany. Indeed. They will up in the finals in Cologne in live studio, and this will happen on the 12th of April. Guys, if you don't have anything, the market book it in the calendar that you will watch the official stream on Twitch TV, Natural Selection Two. It will be all there. The whole event is gonna be just epic, and yeah. So let's see if our care, if Goda can come back from this because. I know they can. I've played them a lot, and actually, just talking about this team, Goder, they started playing really well. Like half year, they started playing seriously, and at the start, there was like a new team, like everyone else. But they practiced so hard, whole time together. Every time I played them, no matter with what team, Duplex, HPZ, or whatever, they got stronger. They got stronger with every match, and this is just amazing to see a progress of one of these teams. So Grizzly did a amazing work with this team to be one of the top four teams in the world right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, oh, and we have ready calls. Just saying, you can do the same. 
It's all practice. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and here all we go. All practice. So, you want to do the intro? Uh, you go right ahead. All right. So, hello, guys. Welcome back to this game number four on this NSL Invitation Cup number one semi-finals matchup between RKR and Goder on the map NSL Tram with RKR spawning down as Elgin in shipping and Goder in silver room. Yeah, and what a match that we just saw last. I am looking forward to this match. Arkea's alien game, as we know, is really, really strong. Uh, we have Godar pushing mezzanine and platform right now. Fight gonna come up in north tunnels against uh, some three skulks and two marines. Quite interesting to see Arkea's kind of skipping the main part of the moraines, trying to focus on the cappers. But Arkea man, that's really good position. Already took down one of the skulks. Nice teamwork by those, so far. Yeah, exactly, and uh, Trefnik's in a uh, warehouse right now, just kind of hiding out on the, the top, and he comes in against Alcalde! Oh my god, Tane comes in from out of nowhere! <laughs> and just <laughs> jumps in! I didn't even see where he was! <laughs> was hiding somewhere on top, it was a <laughs> great ambush, yeah. Wow, he just flew in on my screen, that was nuts. All right, little little <laughs> little cat and mouse action happening up in Hub. Duty and Grissy versus Fana. Oh yeah, note of this map as Silver Room, it's not so easy to get a hold, good foothold on those RTs. On going to warehouse and ore is not so easy as you can see. That's why Arkea is also focusing on killing the campers there because it takes so long time to get back into position. Yeah, and Tref, uh, Trefnix right now just taking out Grissy in South Tunnel's duty, leaving his body uh, to rot there as he runs off. Uh, you know, an another thing here, Blind, is uh, this could this is a heck of a of a psychological hit for Godar. I mean, to lose three matches in a row, I mean, and keep your head in the game uh, into this is is really tough. Yeah, that's for sure. That's not so easy, but Godar, I think they're kind of experience on handling this kind of situations. So let's see how they will go. Hub an engagement, Trefnix going down, going alone into this open area, no much chance for him to stay alive. And Akio's play, no, Goda's playing really slowly, at least so far, not putting any pressure yet. So but with... Go ahead. No, sorry, I was just only seeing Fana kind of uh, in warehouse right now, harassing uh, the Marines there, making sure that they know that he's there so they can't really take their, you know, eyes off him. And he runs in, takes out Manzap. At the same and time, observation, the Marines try to push their walk, and Grissy, they pull back because there was too much resistance in their gorges with Hydras and Skulks all around. So it's just building elevator instead now. And we see weapons one has started a little less than two minutes into the game. Welders is almost done as well. So five RTs up for Godor, not bad, that's a really good number. Make that minus one mezzanine gets taken out here. Trafnix Igli, good teamwork on that. They will just continue on platform now. And we see two of Godar's Marines moving in from elevator transfer into observation. Skugan up top in the vents. Knowing that they're there, they are going to get hit by a Hydra farm. Scram coming in, Tane coming in, Vok and Grissy are in trouble. They are just going to get swarmed. And they just get run over like they weren't even there. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, really nice ambush here by Kira. And that's definitely how, where you can learn how to do it. And attack from different sides at the same time basically not going in one by one mark is almost always executing that perfectly as you can see the results yeah, exactly and we see three marine push in mezzanine uh duty building up that rt they're going to push to elevator transfer at this point weapons one has just been completed that's going to help godar a little bit a little skirmish happening in hub against trefnix he goes down and two skulks coming into ore processing to kill that RT. Oh, I'm looking at the drift and repair room. That was really cute micromanaging here by Scrime, the Akia commander. He sent the drifter first. The marine in repair did put in this LMG bullets in there, so the aliens had an easier play, easier time to get the kills. Yeah, very nice. Using that, uh, you know, using the reload mechanic 
you know, as uh, on your side is really good for the aliens. Exactly, try to attack when they're just about to empty their clip. And look at that, now logistics score, there are only Vok left and already three or four aliens around. In trouble in observatory, Archaea, um, we got Grissy and Duty attacking that. Extractor gets taken out by Tane. Both of them get taken out by Tane. Some great reaction times that we're seeing here uh, from Archaea. Yeah, I mean, look at the Harvester, 9% health left. I mean, it was just in time getting there. Really good executed double prone attacks, hitting two Harvesters at the same time. It makes it always harder to defend them, but Archaea, really nice job so far. Yeah. Also, note, look at Repair. Repair a hive has been dropped by Ark. Very sneaky over there. 26% grown at this point. And Menzap comes in as Godar. He sees that new hive. That is very crucial intel that he just told his team. Also, quick note, just from the chat messages, maybe on the team scores. I'm not sure if they're correctly updated. 3-0 right now. No, they're not. I had to switch them around to make sure that uh, it was showing correctly. But the team score, pay no attention to that. Just use that okay. to know which side's who. Um, but it is 3-0. Or in, at least in this map, it's 1-0 to Archaea. Ah, yes. So Archaea now working on those RTs again, but generally... Um, they're on a constant average of 5 extractors, which is a definitely good number. So they have armor 1, weapon 1, shotguns, Ops already being dropped, no face get yet on the work, but they could start it. Godar doing a really good job kind of pressuring the aliens at this point. Uh, we see phase tech just started, a lot of good harassment from uh, Fana, who's their lurk and almost everybody's favorite lurk. Oh, it looks like Godar is now pushing into repair room. I really would love to see a phase gate now on all processing. It makes it lots easier to take down the hive repair. It's also easy to siege the hive in there. Oh yeah, Many definitely. Many games have been won just because of that. And, and they're pulling back to or and phase is on the way. Yeah, and we see that Leap and Blink is on the way from Archaea. We got uh, a big three alien push that just took out Alcalde in or processing and they are moving into warehouse. Oh, and that extractor just gets flicked and it's dead. Phase tech has been completed. The RT in ore processing is down. Those two Marines in elevator transfer are going into observation to try to take out this uh, RT, which they have been trying to take out since the beginning of this game. <laughs> yeah, and it got healed up over the time. No, it got redropped. Actually, they killed it on one point. Oh, they did. Yeah, we missed it. Well, that's fine. But These uh, three aliens coming in from Archaea to help, uh, harass Grissy and Valk, they're moving into the main... Oh, nope, they're moving into shipping. Maybe. Or south tunnels. Uh, I'll probably try just to keep the aliens busy while they might get a face get up now, either in warehouse or in all processing. Yeah, and they are moving away. They're healing each other with welders, moving into hub um, at this point. We got two marines in warehouse. Godar re putting up that RT again and moving down into or processing to see that it has been taken by the aliens. We see a drop of a phase gate, like you said, blind, to make sure that it's easier for them to take out repair room. Oh, yeah, sticky phase gate. Looks like Scribe tr tried to... All, everything sisted up so no face it can't be chopped but it took down one of the infestations the aliens at least know what's happening they know they are in ore so they really have to worry about repair next yeah and we see that Skuggin was harassing that RT in warehouse a failed push also by the Marines from hub to repair room that got pushed away observation RT is almost down and oh this is exciting as what's gonna happen next uh, we're gonna see some fades on the field pretty soon um, oh. as, in terms of personal res, Skogan, Trefnix, and Tane are all close to fading. Oh, yeah, and they also did a really good job again. Now taking down all the artists, look at that. Marines dropped down to two active extractors. This is definitely nothing which will help you, especially when you want to siege. You need at least a, a 
average of four active extractors to really pull that off. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, Godar needs to secure more parts of this map. Just showing you um, so far the map, guys. Um, look at the control that Arkea has on the map. We're seeing a little bit of action in Mezzanine at this point. Tane gets taken down by Duty in one fell shotgun blast. Three aliens still going after Duty at this point. He goes down. Alcalde is in trouble. He may lose that shotgun. Grissy comes to back him up. And Alcalde does go down. And Grissy is going to back off. Or get On killed. On the next Marine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a snack machine is open. Yeah. It comes one Marine at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, and another Vok goes down in hub at this point. We see a Robo Factory going down in ore processing. Skogan is a fade. We have a fade on the field. He runs in there to stop the build, but they do now know that a Robo Factory is going down in there. So they can adjust to that and start by bomb as soon as they have the rest. And that was pretty no nice to note. Skogan almost got killed there. He got stuck actually in this little prop there. On this bar, as it seems. Oh yeah, but luckily that is enough, the worst they thing to happen. <laughs> yeah, luckily enough, the go to players just missed one or two shots on him. Arceus, go uh, I'm sorry, Arkea going after the RT in platform. Eagle Eye does end up taking it down. He's going to go after the power right now. Mezzanine is going to be going down. Vok coming in to try to save it. Tane still biting on it. Oh, on the same time, Observation, we have two shotguns here working. The Lurk and the Fade here together, trying to hold him off. But nice job so far here by Cat and Duty. Keeping him off, he goes Skug and he gets one of the kills, only one shotgun left. And all those map packs cannot save the life wow. of this poor Marine. That poor Marine just ate it in Observation. And we're seeing the Robotics Factory has been completed. At this point, it's got to be turned into an Arc Factory to start producing Arcs. Uh, Eagle Eye takes down an Extractor in Mezzanine. I really love the gameplay by Arkea. They completely, what you see a lot is like uh, many teams when they know there's a phase gate in order, they kind of half hard to try to push for the phase gate or they're all in repair waiting for the push. But Arkea is doing different. They're just going, taking down all extractors with the, which you can do. They know they have time until the arcs will hit. The best thing you can do at this time is kill all the extractors because you know the Marines will not push into repair right now. They will wait for those two or three arcs to finish. Exactly. If they pushed into Marine now, that would be a very, very bad call, a weak push. We got Trefnix right now as a fade in ore processing. Uh, he's just kind of hanging around trying to harass them, but he decides to leave and go to North Tunnels where he meets Duty, and Duty just goes down. Alien, three alien push in platform right now. 70%, that is definitely going to go down. We might see this group. We see another group in Mezzanine right now taking down that RT. Wow. On both sides. Wow. <laughs> Killing all those poor extractors. Look at that, they lost 13 already in total. Oh, and Trepnik goes down as a fade. She couldn't get around that corner in time. We're seeing one arc that has already been built. The RT in Mezzanine is going to go down as well. 9% on that. Great double RT push on both ends by Arkea. You know, the whole time with the opening that no aliens were c even close to repair or trying to defend, maybe they could try to sneak in there, put some bullets in the hive, just force some aliens to go back so they have a little bit more easy time on all their RTs defending, exactly. just by forcing aliens to get down here. But here we go, now comes the arc push, three arcs finally ready. Finally they are ready, but here already arc here will all come, look at the minimap! The whole elite team is streaming towards those arcs. Yep. Bile bomb commencing. Bile bomb it... is gonna go on those arcs. Wow! Not hesitating for a second. They know exactly when they're needed here. Beacon coming in. They will all use the face gate, but the arcs are getting taken the out by all those things. Oh my god, look at that massacre! What a stop, dead stop to that push in repair room. Arkea just reacting to what has been happening. They still got two arcs there, but they are not going to last soon. They're at 9 and 15 percent. All they need is a couple biobomb blasts and that's over. The hive is but sitting the pretty the good. 
the lost the gorge scribe did die on push only on eagle eye no no one scorching there's a new gorge coming here scribe with the new gorge egg but his time is running out 44 percent on a hype the buy bombs are hitting the arcs first arc down second arc is going down, down. And the Hive's at 34%. What a great defense by Archaea here. Wow. wow. They are just take them out and they are moving into ore processing right now. They are not losing this momentum. They are taking out the Marines as they come through. That phase gate is in trouble. What great oh, play. Bombing all the Marines, trying to face in here, hoping that to hold. But the last Marine who is alive will go down in a second. Now a little bit of time to face. I have to go back home for healing. More Marines will scream in. I think during problem, that. That entire push blind, they were just yelling, Germany! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, three Hydras have, had been dropped to heal up the Hive as fast as possible. They know there will be no more arcs. They know the Marines have to push in to finish it just by hand because they don't have any resources. They're sitting on two extractors. Yeah, and we've seen Elevator Hive has been dropped. 20% uh, grown and at 45% health and big push still here in ore processing. That phase gate, 5%, it's down. Oh my god, you know what this means? The first Gota players are dropping out, they are dropping out. They oh. are gone, there's the good game! We Arkea, Arkea is going to Germany for the NSL Finals blind. What a match, they take out Godar 4-0. Oh my god, what a sign. Just telling everyone we want to win this. Going to the finals again, again in Cologne in the East L Studios. Congratulations, guys, for this matches. Nice play, Arkir. Yeah. We're going to be nice to see you guys all again <laughs> in Cologne. Definitely. Looking nice job, Arkea. Again, you guys heard it here. If you're just coming in, uh, Arkea is going to Germany 4-0 against Godar. Godar put up a good fight there, Blind, but it just wasn't enough to uh, to stop that. Wow. <coughs> yeah. Also, good game here by Godar. Nice job, guys. He put up amazing matches this whole tournament through over. Really showing what you already made of. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter at StingRedDog and replays, edited replays will be up on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash StingRedDog. Uh, this has been Red Dog and Blind for Red Dog TV. Say goodbye, Blind. Yeah, goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And, yeah. Good night. <laughs>